Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Bonus Podcast. I'm your host, Savannah Boda. Okay. And you're? The co-host, Tyler Jacoby. Okay. I just wanted to do a pause like you did. I don't know why you paused. Well, I was thinking, <laughs> I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's bad outside. This evening has <laughs> been so precious. I you say, I want to haunt I don't know My this song. My mother will start to worry. I do know the song, but I don't. Okay. Well, happy Halloween or Christmas. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> you missed by two holidays, not okay, just one. Listen, I'm a little delirious. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Merry Christmas, guys. Today we're going to be talking about winter skin tips. I love the winter. You do? Yes. Let it snow, motherfuckers. You love the winter because of Christmas, but do you actually love winter? I think winter like clothes are cuter. Like if Christmas was in the summer, would no. you love the winter? I don't like to sweat. I'd rather be a little cold because you can always put more on, but you can't take enough off when you're hot. Like you could be hot when you're naked, but you can like put on so many clothes to where you're not cold, you know? Yeah. So that's why I like the cold because it's like easier to get comfortable. Like if it's hot, it's just hot. Like there's nothing you can't take your skin off. Yeah. I think the part I hate about it is that like, you know, places heat so well Mm -hmm. in the winter. So like you like will go outside and you wear like five layers and then you get somewhere and then you're like dying. Well, you you take your layers off. Yeah, but that's so much work. Well, I'm going to, like, carry around my, like... Would you rather be cold? No. Okay. (laughs) Moving on. So, winter skin tips. I'm so excited because, listen, as the seasons change, so does your skin, guys, and your skin's needs. So, when we're talking about summer, spring, we're really focusing on sunscreen, obviously, um, pigment inhibitors, things like that. And the winter and the fall, we're still focusing on sunscreen because UV rays don't take vacays, babes. Like they are always out to get you. They don't care. They don't care if it's snowing. And honestly, one of the worst sunburns of my entire life was when I was skiing in Colorado with my family. So I was like, mom, I don't need sunscreen. Like it's snowing, but the snow reflects the sun and makes it even stronger. So you're more likely to get sunburned skiing than you are on a cruise. Probably both, but I think it's stronger when it reflects from the snow because it's so white and pure that's crazy yeah you can get really bad sunburn i got the worst sunburn my that's, entire life and i had insane. my little goggles on so i had like white and then just red everywhere. i would feel so duped if i got a sunburn when i was skiing i'd be like what it happens <laughs> like that's like a glitch in the matrix you no know it happens <laughs> so you want to focus on that and hydration moisturizing and of course redness and eczema my son's eczema gets crazy this time of year so i'll tell you guys what i do for him in a little bit but what you want to do for starters a lot of people think when they have dry skin and there's a very big difference between dry skin dehydrated skin and compromised skin slay tyler how about you tell us sure no that i just wanted it's to a quiz i want you to i want you to guess What's the difference? We'll start with dry versus dehydrated. Dry skin lacks. Oil. And dehydrated skin lacks. Water. Good job. And compromised skin. It's just fucked up. The barriers. Non-existent. Yeah, it's gone. (laughs) Gone with the wind. Yeah, that took a vacay. That took a vacay. The sun doesn't, but your skin barrier does. Yeah, she was like, bye. (laughs) Um, And compromised skin barriers can happen from a lot of things. Overusing actives, um, over exfoliation, using ingredients that are more irritating. There's a lot of things. And you'll know when you have compromised skin because everything burns and it's inflamed. It feels hot to the touch. Like you just feel stripped, literally. Mm -hmm. Itchy, hot, dry, scaly. Yeah. And the best way to repair your skin's barrier is really a lot of the tips I'm going to teach today. But you want to cool it on the actives. You want to make sure that you're not washing your face with hot water, which you shouldn't do that in general. And then, of course, just a lot of hydration, nourishing, and barrier-supporting ingredients like beta-glucan, um, allotonin, um, glycerin, hyaluronic acids, ceramides, fatty acids. I mean, you just really want to pack in the moisture and nourishing ingredients for your skin and sunscreen. But what I was going to tell you guys, so the difference between dry skin, like we said, it lacks oil. So you're looking for more moisture in the skin. And then with dehydrated skin, you want more hydration. But a common misconception that I believed for a really long time too before I was an esthetician was my skin's dry 
I should not exfoliate. Mm -hmm. Dry skin doesn't, it just needs hydration and moisture. And yes, that kind of makes sense. But when you start to think about it um, from an esthetician's point of view and as a skin professional, it's not true. It's kind of like if you're trying to paint over a wall that hasn't been sanded, right? Yeah. Um, versus sanding down that wall and then painting it. It's going to lay so much better. It's going to soak into the wood or whatever canvas you're painting. Um, so what it's like is if you have, oh my God, I just choked on my spit. <laughs> if you have all this dead skin from being dry. Yeah. I'm going to explain it. Okay, go. Um, so whenever you're trying to add like all this moisturization and like doing the hyaluronic acid, ceramides, peptides, what have you, it's not able to get through and actually hydrate the skin because you have a barrier because you're not exfoliating. Exactly. It's just sitting right on top. And there's so a fine smart. line. You are so smart. <laughs> Between over exfoliating and proper exfoliation, that's why it's best to work with a skincare professional so they can tell you, hey, like you'd be better suited for enzymatic exfoliation. You'd be better suited for physical and you're going to be great for chemical exfoliation because those are the three main types of exfoliation that we have. Enzymatic, which is going to be like lipase, protease, um, papin, bromelain. All of these are enzymes in the skin um, or fruit enzymes that be used to exfoliate the skin and they act like little Pac-Man. So enzyme exfoliation, they are like eating away those dead skin cells. And this is best for someone who has rosacea, sensitive skin, even compromised skin. Obviously I would not be using this three times a week on compromised skin, but if you do need a little bit of exfoliation when you're getting further into your skin healing journey, like I wouldn't just start using this on compromised skin. Um, but if you're feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm getting my barrier back and you're like a freshly recovered broken barrier, you can start bringing that in. Um, chemical is my favorite. So that would be like alpha hydroxy acids, like lactic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid, things of that sort. Um, even BHAs, beta hydroxy acids, like salicylic acid would be a form of chemical exfoliation, retinoids. Um, my favorite is the alpha ret peel pads. Like they're literally magic erasers for everything. And for that, I love inflamed acne, non-inflamed acne, melasma, stubborn pigment does great with chemical exfoliation, um, large pores, texture, you name it, dry skin, dehydrated skin, like chemical exfoliation is great. Physical, I am not the hugest fan of physical exfoliation, but it does have a place. I like it for really deep acne impactions, like very non-inflamed congested acne, um, texture, and sometimes it just feels good to get yeah. physical exfoliation in there. But I would say I usually, if I have to pick, I'd reach for my chemical because mm -hmm. what it's going to do is basically speed that cell turnover over. Um, and it's going to really help just break down those dead skin cells with physical, like you're, it's an abrasion. So it's yeah. a mechanical type of exfoliation, whether you're using, you should not be doing this, a washcloth or <laughs> like Clarisonic, which like doesn't even exist anymore. It doesn't? No, they like went bankrupt. No way. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I know I they was, don't exist, but I don't know why. I think they went bankrupt. Though. I was on that bullshit in middle school. Oh my God, everyone I was. I loved it. I know. And it's just like harbors so much bacteria. No, it's crazy. I hate cleansing devices, guys. I got the deep pore brush, the black one. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Because it tears your skin up. Yeah, horrible. Like, no. there. That's what I'm saying. There's, like, types of exfoliation that are bad. Like, the little Foreo, it's fine. If you, like, want it for fun. Is funsies. that the one with, like, the rubber yeah. bristles or whatever? I used to be all... My skin was never worse. <laughs> no, me after the Clarisonic. I was using the Foreo. Tyler shortly got your on Your God-given hands yeah. are just all you need, babes. Like, God gave you those hands. But, put them to use. Yeah, but... um. There are a few that you are a fan of. Cleansing devices? No. Oh, God, no. No. Physical scrubs. Physical scrubs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I like the peptide micro scrub. It's like microdermabrasion in a bottle has little corundum crystals um, from Glymed. And then I love the detoxifying scrub mask from Skin Better. But physical exfoliation, it can be good for some dry skin because what we're doing is breaking away those dead skin cells um, and also non-inflamed acne. Do not. You know what I'm going to say? Use a physical exfoliant on inflamed acne. It'll spread bacteria. It'll make it more angry and red. God, I wish somebody tattooed that on my arm <laughs> when I was breaking out with my acne because I had no idea. Yeah. But it's one of the worst things you can do. If you're like, oh my God, my acne won't clear and you're using a physical scrub, baby, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stop. Baby, it's cold out here. <laughs> baby, you're, you're spreading that bacteria everywhere. Um, yeah, so no. But like I said, dry skin, 
chemical peels, amazing. Because what we're doing is removing all of those layers. So our skin sheds a bunch of dead skin cells every mm-hmm. single day. If you're acne prone, you're shedding five times the amount of a normal person. So that's why really acne prone skin needs that exfoliation. But on the flip side of it, we're getting into acne talk right now. You also have to hydrate the skin on the flip side. Yeah. Because if you're drying your skin out so much, you're going to dry out your pore. And if you think about it, I always say pores are like slides, right? So mm-hmm. if you dry that pore out, think about it as like a water slide. It's a dry slide. You're pushing 80 kids down this slide. They're all, their little butts are going to get stuck and they're going to get like, what is it? Like road burn, rug burn, carpet burn. What was it that we used to get as kids? Rug burn. Yeah. Rug burn on your butt, but from the slide. And if you have water, they're all going to go and slide out one by one nicely and keep that pour flowing like a river. So you want to make sure that while we are hydrating on one side, we are exfoliating on the other. So whatever you exfoliate, whatever you break down, you must nourish, hydrate, and rebuild. I always say that. So anytime I exfoliate my skin, I always do a hydrating mask after or immediately put on a hydrating serum, hydrating mist. Um, sometimes I'll even do a hydrating mask after just to replenish whatever I just may have removed from my exfoliation. So that's really the key because I think a lot of people just strip, 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 and that's when you get that compromised skin barrier. So mm-hmm. it's a really big balance. And again, that's why working with a skincare professional will really help you balance and find what exfoliation type's best for you. But if you're confused and don't know, I mean, you can't go wrong with Alpharet peel pads. I mean, I use them three times a week. They're literally like little magic erasers for every single skin concern. I also love them for KP. Yep. My husband's KP flares up a ton in the winter. So I love having him do that. And then um, we put, actually now we've been using the lipid body treatment on top for him. And it's been so helpful with his KP. So um, that's my first tip is make sure you're still exfoliating. A lot of people think when it's dry outside or I'm sorry, when it's cold outside that you should not be exfoliating. But honestly, you might need to amp up your exfoliation in the colder months to um, help really with that dead skin cell and the cell turnover and just really assisting in that process for your skin. Um, So you said your two favorites or you said just some of your favorites for physical and some of your favorites for chemical. What do you like for enzymatic? I like the hydrating mask from Glymed with enzymes. And then I love the enzyme powder from Epicutus. Mixing that with the oil cleanser, chef's kiss. I we do. didn't talk about that on last week's episode. No, we didn't. But it's so good. I love that enzyme powder. We sell it on my website. The so cleansing that's set. enzyme. It's not physical. No, it's enzymatic. Wow. Mm-hmm. You would think it would be physical. Because when you move it together. It, it like foams up. Yeah. Yeah. Not foams sense. up, but it like creams up. Yeah. Yeah, because you want to mix it first. But yeah, I love, 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 love that powder for sensitive skin and just people that have more mm-hmm. of a sensitive, sensitized skin barrier. Um, my next tip, which I love this tip, and I've seen a lot of estheticians posting about it lately too, is when you shower, never wash your face in the shower, guys, ever. Always wash it outside of the shower. And then when you get in the shower, a lot of times we lose a lot of moisture from our skin, from the steam, right? It's like being in a steam room. So I always recommend to put a hydrating face mask on before you get in the shower and then leave it on while you're showering to really let the steam work for you and not against you um, and really lock in that hydration in the skin. So that's like one of my favorite tips. I either do the ultra hydrating enzyme mask from Glymed or the Hydrocom mask from um, Face Reality. I lean more towards... If you're someone that showers every day, the Hydrocom, because yeah. there's no actives in it. And there are a few actives in the um, Glymed one. Mm-hmm. There's some enzymes in there. So if you just want like strictly hydrating, no actives, barrier building, barrier supporting mask, the Hydrocom mask is great to use in the shower. I wash my face in the shower every day. Okay. But that's like, I take like pretty lukewarm showers. It's just still not like, I mean, it's different in this. I mean, I always recommend against it, but like, especially in the winter, you want to change that, babe. I'm just so lazy. I know. But. Uh, I learned something new every day here. I know. My other favorite tip is switching to a creamy cleanser in the morning. So I believe everyone should wash their face in the morning because I think it's gross if you don't. I really do. It's like not brushing your teeth in the morning and people are like, oh, no, my dermatologist said not to wash my face. I'm like, yeah, don't use like a glycolic cleanser in the morning, you know, but using something that's very gentle is fine because you want to get those products off your face. If people are complaining about their products pilling up, it's because you're literally putting your morning products on top of your nighttime products. Like they don't dissolve while you sleep. Like they're still there. They're on your skin. You need to give yourself a clean slate 
and, you know, a little splashy splash ain't cutting it. Like get a cleanser in Mm -hmm. there. Just find something that's very gentle. So I love the peptide cleanser. That one's amazing for a creamy cleanser or the vitamin C cleanser. These are both by Glymed. I love either one of those. Peptide I like a little bit more, but it is more pricey. So if you have to find something that's more in your price range, I like the vitamin C. Um, I like cleansing gel, but it is a gel cleanser. So sometimes I get a little dry with that using that in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I'll switch to one of my creamy cleansers um, during the fall and winter to just really help with my skin. And anyone can use those acne, non-acne, whatever. That peptide cleanser is making a comeback in your heart. You know, I used to love her. No, yeah. That was like your first love cleanser love. Mm -hmm. Before oxygen wash. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I went to Vegas this past year... Um, they gave it to me as a gift at the Glymed event and I fell back in love and I love her. It's like the red carpet cleanser. It's so good, full of peptides and emollients. It's just very, very, very hydrating and just nourishing. And it makes your skin look so gl- soft and glowy and it feels like butter. I just love her. <laughs> and then the vitamin C smells like an orange dreamsicle and I love orange flavored stuff. So yeah. it's just slay. But yeah, that's my other tip. And then in addition, I ain't done yet. Hydrating mist throughout the day. Hydration station, always. Hydrate your skin, refresh your skin throughout the day. It'll help a ton. I love, obviously, the CBD mist. If that's out of your price range, the skin recovery mist from Glymed is also really good, Um, especially if you're allergic to niacinamide, like my husband and my sister-in-law and my (laughs) mother-in-law. You can use the skin recovery mist because there's no niacinamide in it. It's just hyaluronic acid um, and other really hydrating ingredients. So always spray throughout the day. That rhymed. Spray throughout the day. You always do accidental rhymes. I know. Always. You're a poet. Oh. You know, I wanted to be a rapper in high school. That would have been horrible. You know what my name was at the parties? Oh, no. Savage Sav. Savage Sav on the mic. You would rap for people? At parties, yeah. At house parties. Do you look back on that fondly or are you embarrassed? I really thought I was going to be the next Tay Money. (laughs) That's mean. It's just so ridiculous because it's not like Tay Money is famous. Okay. Like the next Tay Money. (laughs) Okay, those are big aspirations. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a rapper because I always have had such a way with words and analogies. Yeah, it's true. You do. But I think they're better used now for marketing rather than for rapping. In another life, I would have been Savage Sav. Wouldn't that have been a good stage name? Welcome, Savage Sav. Maybe on like... Like some like trashy MTV show. Okay. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> where were we going? Where were we? Um, Skin tips. Yeah. My last one for you guys, unless I think of more, is slugging. Slugging on top of your moisturizer. Hmm. I like, like at night? <clears throat> yes, I like to. You slug during the day. That's gross, yeah. right? Yeah, but your sunscreen probably would be like. But you're going to like walk around looking yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because nighttime is for repairing your skin. Okay. Morning is to prevent and protect. At night is to correct. And what is it? My brain hurts. This is her saying. Wait. You can't remember. <laughs> the morning is to prevent and protect. At night is to repair and correct. Okay. I just had to close my eyes so I could see my graphic. Yeah. Okay. I'm a very Fair visual enough. person. Okay, so your beauty just you're you're just so handsome that I just can't think when I stare at you. Shut up. Slugging. Slugging. <clears throat> um, I like the Amphisa Am Bomb. It's acne safe. Mm-hmm. 86 antioxidants. I put it right on top of Trio. I love her. I love the lady that owns the company. I just love Amphisa. I also like Cell Bomb. It's more affordable. I love Cell Bomb. It's some good shit. It is. Mm-hmm. And I slug that shit all over my face. And that's like really also going back to if you have compromised skin. So good. So good. And a little tip. If you're a swimmer, this will save your life. Are you ready? If you struggle with acne or you get a bunch of breakouts or you have sensitive skin, put Cell Bomb on your face before you go swim. All my like clients that are like swimmers wow. are in swim club. What's it called? Swim club? Swim Water pillow. What are they called in school? Swim team? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Not swim club. Swim team. Um, They do that. And it helps. A that's lot. very smart. Thank you. Genius. I know. So. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, slugging? Yeah, slugging. Um, I think you're missing 
What am I missing? Deeper, like your uh, ability to get more exfoliating treatments during the winter. Yeah, like you can get some chemical peels, some lasers, things like that. Um, while you have the downtime, the perfect time to do that because the sun's gone. The sun I mean, they're there. Gone. She's not gone. She's just. I don't not think the blaring. UV is so strong. high. Yeah, but just. It's a great time of year to wipe away the summer, all the damage you've got. Because I swear, even no matter how, like how often you apply your sunscreen, it's the heat. It's, it's still gonna get through. Yeah, like, yeah, you're it's gonna get heat. some pigment. So the winter is the time to shut the dead. There you go again. Popping off. Savage sap. Savage sap on that beat. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, yeah. So we really love it. But maybe you're turning me on to winter. I'm a winter girl. I love the winter. What's your favorite season? Is it winter? No, it's fall because I was born in the fall and okay. I love pumpkin. I don't really like peppermint flavored things. Like they're fine, but they like almost give me like, they make like when I breathe, my mm. like air is like cold and it like, yeah. me. you know what I mean? Like I don't yeah. like when I, my air is cold. It's like brushing your teeth and then drinking a ice cold bottle of water right after. Yeah. yeah it's like not Horrible. a good feeling. I don't like it. <laughs> and so, ow. um, I just like if I could have the vibes of winter with the flavor of pumpkin, <laughs> that would be like the perfect season for me. We'll make a petition for Starbucks. Yeah. Because I think it's only Starbucks that is Pops hindering your growth. They really are. They're messing my, my vibes. My favorite time is spring. Yeah. Because you're born in the spring. Yeah. But I don't care. You know, I don't care about my birthday. I don't like, like the at spring because it's the allergy season for me. I don't me. have a- You don't have allergies? No. Okay. I don't want to be all like, I don't have any problems, but like. I have allergies. Yeah, really bad allergies in the spring. At all. The ragweed. Is that a thing? Yes. I don't know anything about allergies. Ragweed. Is that like a Texas thing? Because I know a lot of yes. people who come here, they say like. It's awful. The allergies are so much worse no, I, here. No, I think I'm dying every spring. <laughs> it's like really hard. And then I also like had a really bad breakup freshman year spring. And so like I get sad during that time. Like just the vibes outside and the like temperature just like brings back feelings of sadness for me. That's crazy because this boy is probably irrelevant. He's in prison. Okay, exactly. <laughs> Had a thing for the felons back in the day. Yeah, you did. I'm, I think we've talked about that before. Yeah. But those were some good tips. All my past lovers I are like either things. dead or in prison. What a great way to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fix people because I didn't want to focus on my own problems because I would get depressed and suicidal when I would think about my own life. And you're like, and so, so I'd you seek found out people like really fucked up people that and I try to go good make about your life. No, that's not what I was intentionally <laughs> doing. I would just focus on their problems that were worse than my problems and I would just try to make them happy and fix them. It makes sense. I wanted to fix people. Mm. And all I did was get hurt. Yeah. So then I stopped fixing people and fixed hurt myself. People hurt people. And then I thrived after I fixed myself and stopped trying to fix other people. I'm proud of you. And that's on growth, baby. And that's my other winter skin tip. Fix yourself. Yeah. Not always. others. Focus on yourself. Stay in your lane and thrive. Yeah. And something, you know, just a little, just a tip that we were talking about last night. What were we talking about last night? Um, is don't put a lot of your self-worth or your weight into other people's opinions on you both good and bad if you give weight to people saying good things about you you're going to equally give that weight to people saying bad things but if you can be happy just and content with yourself yeah you just are you just are you just be just be don't be great don't be awful just be yeah because that's all we're here to do but i think those were some very good i learned some stuff today good so i'm glad if i ever join the swim team team I'll have a good tip in my back pocket. Yes. I just know that I would break out if I was on a swim team. Yeah. That chlorine would fuck me Some of the hardest acne to treat, honestly, are my swimmers. That makes sense. Yeah. There's a lot of chemicals in those pools. Yeah, it's rough. I wonder if it'd be better if they all swim in like saltwater pools. Yeah, let's petition that. Well, I don't know. Give the kids salt water. (laughs) All right, guys. We love you so much and we'll see you next week. We're going to finish it out. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I got to go away. Baby, it's bad out here outside. This evening has been. Baby, it's cold no. outside. So special, oh, I. I want to hold your hand. My mother's will start to worry.
I can see why you would have been a rapper and not a singer. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.